Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Florence, Kentucky. We're getting ready to take you to a place that claims that they have the world's greatest Reuben, so you know we've got to try it. So we're getting ready to take you guys along with us too. E.T. E.T. Woo! Here is a look at the menu, and it says not only is it the world's greatest Reuben, but they've been in business for over 120 years. Right here is a look at the homemade soups that they have available, including matzo ball soup, which is available only on Fridays. They have daily specials, salad bowls. Right here are the wraps, turkey wrap, corned beef wrap, and tuna wrap. They also have salad sandwiches that are available to choose from. And over here are these specialty sandwiches, a New Yorker tuna melt, pastrami delight. Down here are the sandwiches, Izzy's famous corned beef. You can get a whole one or a half one. You can see the price differential. They also have a meatloaf sandwich, a beef frank, or you can build your own. Right here is the daily special, which is Half sandwich, soup, and potato pancake. And right here is a picture of the world's greatest Reuben. Right down here they've got a turkey Reuben. We were thinking about getting that. However, it's just topped with sweet and sour coleslaw. It's not the whole shebang like you would get with a regular Reuben. They have the Reubenator, as you'll see here. Uh, also a veggie Reuben. Over here you can see a continued selection of Reubens, including a beef frank Reuben. Right there's a picture of a pastrami Reuben. And moving on, they have the Joe Walter and a Thanksgiving on a roll. The Thanksgiving on the roll is oven roast and turkey breast topped with a special recipe of cranberry orange relish, cream cheese, and lettuce on a toasted Tolera roll. They have chocolate pate and individual vanilla bean cheesecake. And here are all of the sides to choose from. And as soon as you sit down, they bring out a huge bowl of pickles to your table. You like it? Um, green bar tastes good. And the yellow part like, tastes good. But I have tried the yellow part. I tried the green part. So Jennifer and I got the same exact thing as you'll see here. What did we end up getting there? We got vegetable beef soup, which is all their soups are homemade in house. And then it comes with raw bread as well. So Jennifer's gonna take the first bite and let us know what she thinks. That is so delicious. It reminds me of uh, when my mama would make a roast like on Sundays and with all the vegetables and everything, the next day we would have the leftover roast and she would make vegetable beef soup out of that. That's what this tastes like, it's so good. All right, so look at this guys. I've got pretty much every vegetable there. I got lima beans, green beans, there's some celery, there's carrots. I think there's some pea down there as well and a big old hearty scoop of meat. I see what Jennifer means. Um, this is excellent. This is definitely not something that they're just taken out of a can and pouring into a bowl and heating it up. A lot of time, a lot of care, and a lot of attention was put into this. This is delicious. All right, Gigi, what'd you end up getting there? I got the corned beef with potato pancakes. And Henry, it looks like you got the same thing, right? And I tried them. Um, I tried these and I tried this. All right, so Jennifer and I got the same exact thing. We got the Reuben with the potato cake and we opted to have it grilled. It's a really good look at it right there. There you can see their special sauce, their sauerkraut, and the corned beef. All right, so I'm gonna take my first bite here. I'm so excited about this. We have had this on our radar for months now to try this place when we're up in the area. And when it comes to their corned beef, they cook it fresh daily in a copper kettle. So very excited to see what this tastes like. Here we go. Very good, very flavorful, bursting with flavor but it's just very different. It's not sour, it's more of a sweet taste. The meat is delicious, and it's got a real smooth taste to it. Um, you can see how thinly shaved that is. Look at that. 
and I love the sauce. Uh, it's not zesty by any means, but it's just a real smooth, sweet sauce. So right off the bat, you get um, that really savory smell when the sandwich comes out and everything. So you smell that really good corned beef and the sourness of the sauerkraut. And then you've got that pumpernickel rye. All right, so y'all know I love a good Reuben. Um, this one's gonna be on my top three. <laughs> Um, I don't know where it stands. Um, to be determined after a few more bites, maybe? Yeah, yeah, um, but it's definitely going to be in the top three of uh, my favorite Rubens. I can see what Brent was saying about there. Like, there's so much flavor in that corned beef, and it's really like melting your mouth. And I don't know, whatever they flavor it with is so good. And then you got the, the crunch of the bread, and it's buttery and everything, and then you've got the caraway seeds and then that sauce is just enough on there it's not not too much it's not soaking the bread too much it's just perfect and that sauerkraut gives it enough zest also so this is another food that is aromatic here you can smell right off the bat there's like green onion or white onion and it just uh, it smells very savory so I can't wait to dig into it so this is gonna sound really funny, but if you've ever had like the best hush puppy you've ever had, that's what taste I get. And then as far as texture wise, you get that really like good potato-y, tender potato taste. And then there's like that crunch on the outside that you would get from like a hush puppy. This is amazing. I just took a bite of the kitty cakes and they're quite good. And the Reuben, I ate all of it. I was gonna say, it is gone. Yes. Clean your plate. What are you thinking, Henry? It was good, and the waffle has some crispy on the top. And um, I wanted to say, um, my hamburger was good, and I ate rest of the bread, and I ate rest of those. You cleaned up, didn't you? Now I'm gonna try the potato pancake here. Break it apart. You can see inside. Kind of looks like a thick, almost like a hash brown meats pancake consistency. You can look real close and you can see those green herbs and spices that are in here. I can definitely taste a little bit of an onion as well. Um, it's, it's a very good complement to this sandwich. I don't know if I've ever had a pan, potato pancake that tastes this great. This is a really good potato pancake. Here is the final bill for two drinks and two of the meals with the soups, potato cakes, and two half sandwiches as well as two kids meals came out to $47.21 after tax and before tip. Not too bad at all. That was Izzy's. Henry, what'd you think about Izzy's, buddy? It was good and I liked it, my food. I tasted some of Daddy's pancake waffles and those were good. And um, I had the ribbon the ribbon was a sandwich. The ribbon was good too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was that good. And I tried some of Mommy's um, pancake waffles too. All right, and Gentry. I gotta say, this place is very good. And does it compare to other ribbons that I had in the past? Maybe, but it was really good. All right, and Jennifer. Excellent. I have to say, from the time we walked in, we were greeted. Um, Everyone was so nice and just wanted to make sure that we were taken care of and everything. So I really appreciate that. Um, there's a sweet tea alert here. It was really good. And the star of the show, I would have to say there's two. Um, one of those would be the vegetable beef soup. You gotta try that. And also that uh, rye bread that comes with it, it's very good. And then the Reuben, oh my goodness. That's gonna be in my top three. Um, I have to say, oh gosh, I don't know which one I'd say like, maybe not, like a tie with my number two so um it might even be like a close like with my first so anyway it was excellent excellent all around definitely try this place out i want to add there's great service here and it's not typical that we order the same exact thing but today we ordered the same exact thing because that's exactly what we were craving didn't really want anything else so jennifer and i got the same exact thing and i will have to say that 
Tennessee Jeds sets the bar so incredibly high, it's hard to reach Tennessee Jeds. And I was hoping that this would be a Tennessee Jeds. Uh, this is probably my third favorite that we have tried. Uh, I'm not the Reuben expert like Jennifer is by any means or a stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> That's what you love to order. Uh, but my favorite thing was actually the vegetable soup. There's also okra in there. I did not uh, notice that when I was filming the first uh, couple of bites. I didn't see the okra. There's a lot of great hearty vegetables in there. The meat was delicious. Second, obviously, was my second favorite thing was obviously the, the Reuben and then the potato cakes. If you're into Reubens, if you're into just great sandwiches and great soup, by the way, I would definitely come out here to Izzy's here in Florence, Kentucky. And by the way, they're all over Cincinnati as well. But guys, we thank you so much for joining us here today in Florence, Kentucky at Izzy's. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday. Florence, y'all.